Pete from Retro Arcade Lunatics. Just getting a few questions um, along with some amazing, really positive feedback and so much support pouring in to um, get the Light Gun Lunatic light or guns blazing builds and also chipping in on the um, one terabyte Steam Deck slash PC build that's just going through final integrity checking at the moment. And um, But I thought I'd do a couple of quick showcases. We've had a couple of commonly asked questions. Most of the material you'll find in the release notes, which is all very, to be honest, granted in Batacera wikis. So please make sure you look at the Batacera wikis. Uh, but I'm just going to quickly go through this particular build. This is the one terabyte Steam Deck build, but it's got the all guns blazing like gun lunatics build baked into it as well, because this is what I've got in my Steam Deck. So I've got an, basically an all-rounder in this system. So I'm just going to go through a couple of options um, that people might get stuck on depending on their hard hardware. Please use the Batacera Wiki for some of the troubleshooting guides because there's so many different combinations of hardware and equipment out there. Um, as much as this is plug and play, I'm afraid it does have its quirks as well, but that's no different with any software. So Nathan asked a, a good question uh, around, hey, I've got a 4K TV, and so my my games like Maze of, Maze of the Kings, for instance, is showing on a small screen on my 4K TV. Uh, what the hell? Okay, so that's a, quite a, a common question. All our builds are built around 1920 by 1080 p um, for this whole range of reasons, predominantly around light guns, it's around calibration and keeping things as common as possible across all the new gun types that have been built, been added to version 42 of Batacera. So that's like, you know, the updated gun for IR, the retro shooter Reapers, open fire, you know, you name it, there's a whole pile of new ones in there. Anyway, that's all in the release notes. Anyway, there's two ways you can try and fix this, right? You can either try and fix resolution um, at a per game level, or you can do it at an emulator level. I think when you sort of start things out, and this is my personal experience, I would just play around with a per game level. The caveat is do and only play with the window stuff at the end, because when things break in the windows, because it's highly experimental, it doesn't always end up going great and you may have to get like new dumps and rip out wine runners and, and other bits and pieces. So don't fiddle with the Windows stuff unless you absolutely need to. Um, but the emulator stuff tends to be quite, you know, unbreakable. So I'll do Maze of Kings. Um, so the first thing what you know, I would do is, and I've got a, a controller because Batacera talks about controllers. So yeah, I've got Reapers plugged in, got a keyboard plugged in. Um, but like on my Steam Deck, I've got, it's a controller. And so a lot of these builds are built around controllers. It's trying to be common for everyone. Anyway, enough about that. So I'm just going to long press and hold the X button down on this old cheap ass USB control and go to advanced games options. Um, and I'll quickly go through um, a few options for the Naomi emulator. Um, for Maze of Kings, but it applies to most of the um, games for Naomi as well. So you go down to game, advanced game options. You can, it comes up with a whole range of menu items, okay? Now, putting the Windows stuff aside, most emulators, I'd say the vast majority of them, will have their own type of, of menu. Some things will be in common. Some will have its very unique options in regards to to features. Um, some people will say, hey, the game won't even launch. So there was a person that said, oh, my game won't even launch for PS2. What does that mean? It could mean a whole range of hardware issues, but just in regards to troubleshooting, this might be really, really useful for you as well. So first thing we'll do is we'll start off with emulator. Um, you can pick your different emulator. In this case for um, for Naomi, it's giving me Flycast and Libretro Flycast. To, to, to choose, so you can pick whatever emulator you want other than auto. Most of our stuff is set to auto because out of the box, it should just pick it automatically and work, but people's hardware might need to do that. So if this was like the PlayStation 2 emulator, then you could go in and change it, and it could be PCSX2, it could be another emulator um, there as well. So again, it's a bit of trial and error on your particular hardware. Again, a lot of this is in the um, Batacera wiki. Um, 
video mode this is the one that's particularly for nathan um, again if you've got it on a 4k tv or 4k monitor you can go in here and actually just play it down to what you think what it will work for you um, in this case I, I don't need to do anything because automatic on mine is 1920 by 1080 and um if you so you need to scale it back you can you know pick maximum 1920 by 1080 or if you've got a like in my case i've got a monitor that has a 60 per refresh rate i can select that one and that'll bring the the image back from being uh a tiny image up to where it needs to fit within this within the system uh, the other great things is along this menu system too is that you can adjust aspect ratios you can turn off bezels um, yeah you can you can add more volume don't know why you do that you can you pick the graphics um, API in this case I've, I've, I've picked Vulcan again I've set most of this stuff to auto uh, because you know again if we're looking for potato PCs we want um, things to to work but you know if you want to bump it up you know you can do things like that um, you can do things like rendering resolution so you can really just pump the hell out of this thing and really bump it up depending on your hardware requirement uh, sorry what your hardware um, is available to you uh, again it's a bit of trial and error auto widescreen you can see the widescreen hat if you've got other different controller types you need to do some mapping for um, I won't fiddle around with that because that'll just screw the video up. Screen orientation, light gun, border modes, uh, crosshairs. So if I want to do um, crosshairs, I can pick the different color crosshairs for Maze of Kings or leave it off. Or if it's appearing and you don't like it, you can disable it. Now, in the case of Maze of Kings, um, I'll quickly... Uh, pick red um, and then I'll go and launch that game the reload option audio drivers you know it just goes on and on and on and on but each emulator is slightly different right so I'll quickly jump out of there go into Maze of Kings I've got my retro shooter Reaper here and then you can see I've got a red red crosshair now the game itself has a, a crosshair on it as well um, which will appear when you're sort of going through through the options, but when the game starts in Batacera, its native game crosshair isn't turned on, uh, but this one will be, right? So when you're actually physically going into the into the game, I'm not going to sit there and look, play with the game or anything. You'll, you'll get what you'll you'll see what I mean when you when you get in there. Going to use my controller to get out, uh, and and away we go. The other option you can do is um, going back into say the main the main system here is to press the start button down on my say on my controller or i think it's the space bar on the keyboard yes yeah, space bar on the keyboard and it brings up the main menu then you can go into game settings go um to the bottom of the screen and go per system advanced configuration and then you can actually then dial in full emulators um, so you don't have to go through each individual game, right? So in the case of Naomi, for instance, if I go down to, where is it, Naomi, right? I could easily just go through and say, oh, I want the Flycast emulator. You know, I want to set the settings to all 1920 by 1080. It's aspect ratio, it's bezels, um, the API. I'm going to just pick Vulcans. I know it works well on my machine. Um uh, you can then do all sorts of things, including crosshairs and borders and controllers, you, you name it. And once you've sort of done that there, right, um, it will then apply that into, to the entire Naomi library. So if I now go into House of the Dead and hold that down, um, the menu and go into Advanced Options, um, you know, you remember that I picked the... Um, the, was it the video game? No, I'm getting my things mixed up. Was it API? API, um, you, you can see it's set to auto, but if you can sort of see closely, its current setting is set to Vulcan. So you can see that's because I've set it as a global setting for that. Again, it's horses for courses, how you want to deal with that. Um, but I think when you're starting out with Batacera and Retrobat for that matter as well, um, I would just go with per game settings until you're comfortable. And then if you think, oh, for that entire emulator, I want to set it all to 1920 by 1080, 
um, then <coughs> pardon me, then then away away you go. It all it'll all work work out. Um, I'll quickly do the PlayStation Two stuff as well because one of the one of the guys said they were having some difficulties with that. Uh, PlayStation Two coming into PlayStation Two. Same kind of options. I'll just pick on Virtual Cop, for instance. Again, I'm just going to long press this down, go into the advanced game options, sit similar kind of menu, right? Pick your emulator. PCSX2 tends to be what most people will, will utilize, but you can't use RetroArch. There's nothing stopping you from, from doing that, and you might have better results. Again, same things with decoration, rendering, you know, multi tap. Um, sometimes you'll come across games where it, um, emulator options where there might be certain fixes like the for the fog for time crisis they'll talk about steering wheels light gun options where they're on or off um and and the and the like right so again it, it's a whole bunch of different options that you can apply per game setting um yeah and i think that that should probably be an, enough for the first little video that's probably taken a lot longer than what i would like to have done for you but hopefully that sort of stepped you through through some basic basic options as to whether you're going through the like an entire system setup menu system that you might want to might want to play around with um or in the case of an individual game going into the individual game settings um uh, as well and playing around with its different options per per game uh, like I said just quickly just to wrap up the video what I would not do is um, I would not fiddle with anything within the ports if you can avoid it um, definitely nothing in switch I wouldn't fiddle around with that if you can avoid it otherwise you know you, you might come unstuck uh, and then definitely will not would not go recommend playing around with the back end settings uh, with any of these windows games if you can avoid it um, if you really have to do anything, um, I, I would just personally just try and stick to only fiddling around with the video mode. If you if you've got that 4K TV um, small screen resolution issue, but I you know if you can, I would steer away from any of these other settings because we've got them sort of dialed into to work generally out of the box. Um, and, but if you get stuck, please chat with any of the guys in Discord because each bit of hardware combination, motherboard, graphics card, you know, uh, whether it's the ROG Ally or the Steam Deck, um, some things will work on some systems and some things won't work on others. Sometimes it's just about the right combination and sharing ideas with each other. So I, I know personally that um, on my Ryzen 5 3060 Ti PC, right, uh, which is where I've got my one terabyte Steam Deck build currently plugged into. Um, some of the games play um, nice, um, and on the Steam Deck they don't play nice. So I have to pick a different setting, um, and vice and vice versa. And some people can't even run certain games, including yours truly, where someone said, "Hey Pete, I've got this game working. It works great, and it doesn't matter what system I, and combination I use on my PC and Steam Deck." Um, the game just for some reason doesn't want to play nice. Uh, it's one of those Batacera quirks that, that are there at the moment, but it's no fault of Batacera because this is all highly experimental. Um, so it is really about patience and trial trial and error. Um, and just one more thing while I've got it. Uh, lots of people ask, oh, what games are play two players in Windows? Just assume that most of them, in the majority of them, are not. And that's simply because from a Batacera standpoint and Wine Runner standpoint, um, it, it can't recognise two two light guns. Um, some of the Unity games might actually work, but I would just assume that no two player game works. That's probably one of the only drawbacks to do with Batacera. But when you've got things like uh, where are we? Like Lindbergh, which has a lot of the games that you would normally see say via Techno Parrot using Demo Shooter. A lot of these, thankfully, are out of the box two player on Batacera and go exceptionally well. Um, just uh, uh, amazing. Anyway, look, I, I could keep going and I might do another video if I see a bunch of other commonly type asked questions. Hopefully that's been useful to you. Hopefully you understand. 
understand what I'm saying, uh, use our Discord group. It's probably much easier, to be honest, than asking questions in our Facebook group. We always love questions in our Facebook group, but sometimes in regards to exchanging screenshots and saying, hey, did you try this setting or that setting, um, and exchanging ideas, um, the Batisera group um, uh, that... Um, that Johnny uh, Lawson had set up for um, all the Lunatics Facebooks group is, is really, really great to do that. Um, plus any sort of new games that are coming in for, for, for Batacera, including, what did I include um, there today? I included, and it's going to make a lot. Oh, hang on, I'm looking at friggin' Lindo. Nice one, Pete. Uh, where are we? Uh, da, 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 da. Games like while we're shootout um, will be in, included in on there as well because some of these aren't necessarily included in the like dumb builds. These are the things where friends like Damo and others have come and said, "Hey man, you probably haven't got this yet, but you might want it." So um, you know, uh, we'll we'll service that those um, those dumps so you can uh, include those into your respective builds okay all right hopefully that's been useful i'll now shut up leave you as be have a great day bye